And so he compensates Fuck. and has bad language <laughs> because of his back pain. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Thayer here. I'm with uh, Joseph. This is a year later now. You guys, uh, we have his part one on my channel and he did a lot better. He only came in three times last time. And he'll discuss how he did better and uh, what happened over the last year. Really, just a financial thing, couldn't make it in. Thought we did a great job. Um, but uh, things are things and things fall apart when we don't give him enough help. And so he's back. Yeah. And so, um, let's see. Um, first of all, let's, uh, why don't you tell us why you're here, Joseph? Uh, I came originally for hip pain, um, but now it's just like the, the back pain has become so much more. And I just feel like it's just escalated the longer I've left it undone. Gotcha. So it's been a whole year, like I said, yeah. almost a year, maybe like 10 months, something like that, sure. 10, 11 months. And so uh, he is doing a new job. He collects those birds out there and puts them in the truck. And he says he picks about 30 a day. <laughs> and because of that, he threw his back out about six days ago, right? Yeah. I'm only giving them- No, yeah, no, it's just funny to hear other people say it. Only because I want you guys to understand the biomechanics of doing it. When you bend over, it's not necessarily the heaviest item mm -hmm. ever, but it's cumbersome, it's hard to yeah. lift. And he probably wants, look at how much, look at the clothes he wears. He wants to stay clean. So he probably doesn't want to put it on his body, kind of carries it out here and all that crap. Yeah. Came in originally for uh, hip. hip pain. Mm -hmm. Terrible hip pain. You guys can watch the original video and see how yes. his hip pain. Tell us how, on a percentage scale how much better it is since then. I know it's back a little bit. It's, it's not necessarily back, perfect. but it's noticeably like so much. Not, it's not a significant. It's not, it's it was, not no. game changing. It was, like yeah, it was, yeah, exactly. And so he has foot pain still. A lot of these symptoms he still has. Um, foot pain still exists. He's yeah. about a four out of 10. Um, his hips still hurt, but not nearly as much as before. Right. Um, the big thing for him, and this is the game changer thing, I think, is that his neck. Tell us about your neck. Oh yeah, my neck doesn't hurt anymore, and that was that was a big part of it too. Especially just waking up in the morning, I couldn't like really move it. But that, uh, like you said, I only came three times. And yeah, my neck but he's still. And the reason I do these guys is because I want you to see that's his no placebo effect. You guys all want want to tell me that I just put this shit in people's brains. I make them believe, and they believe here and they leave, but they never actually get me any better but he is here to tell you that his neck is still better a year later okay there again it's not perfect he hasn't put enough freaking time in here but he's still better there's still a semblance of an improvement from after i treated him okay mm -hmm. and he hasn't been to any other doctors since uh, last year right mm -hmm. gotcha now tell us about your vertigo you had every day you were dizzy also before oh yeah yeah getting up too fast yeah, he says he's still dizzy so but yeah. tell us about that it's just like i would say it's like 10 percent of what it was gotcha yeah but he still says he gets up and uh, every other day he's still a little dizzy, but not yeah. nearly as much as before. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to show you guys that there is, again, there's traction with this. It actually yeah. works. It actually lasts longer than you think. Yeah. Uh, ring in the ears. Tell us about the ring in the ears. Once uh, a week it was before. Yeah, I don't really notice it as much. Like so that's gone. Yeah. And then uh, sleep anxiety. I think that's probably back. I can see it in his face right now. He's anxiety because the pain. He's not sleeping. Yeah. Um, so, you know, again, we need to work on him more. And I've yelled at him, but he goes, it's a financial thing, Doc. It's not that I don't like you. It's not like I don't think you're helping me. It's yeah. a financial thing, right? Yeah. Perfect. So I just want to put that out there. He's like, why isn't he fucking getting the help? Why, <laughs> why can't you help him, Doc? What's going on, Doc? <laughs> okay, so he also has a grade one spondylolisthesis. That means he has a slippage of his back down there and it's slipped forward. Uh -huh. And so um, it slipped out of place, and that's a genetic thing, and I told him this last time. And so yes. he's working with a little bit of deficit here, too. So go ahead and bend over, touch those as best you can. Okay? Why can't you go more? It's the lower right. Yeah, on a scale of 110, how bad is that, it's sir? It's like a fucking eight. About eight, right? Oh, God, yeah. Okay, now go back like this, sir. Yeah, no. That's that? eight. That's eight also? Yeah. Okay, put your arms down and look at the floor, please. How much pain there? None. Look at the ceiling. How much pain there? None. Okay, so again, no pain in his neck. Yet pain in his back. Guess what I'm gonna adjust? My neck. Have I adjusted anything else in your body ever? No. Nope. Okay. No off the screen stuff. Mm -hmm. No should get net shenanigans in here. Mm -hmm. No like bait and switch crap. Mm -hmm. It's just his neck. Okay. One last thing, if mm -hmm. you can do it, I want to see what you can do. Let's squat again. Mm. Mm. Okay, I why? can probably go a little lower, but it did it start hurts okay. like so right. slow down a little bit and just kind of tell us what it is, because we want to get a baseline of this stuff. Hip pain, how much hip pain? Um, like it's a seven. I'd gotcha. say. How about the back pain? Any back pain you do that? Yeah, when I get low. And when I get much? low, it's like the center. I'd say like five. Gotcha. Yeah. Any knee pain with that? Not, not Good. really. Distracted though. You so. ready to go, sir, sir? Hey guys, two millimeter right imbalance and an 11 degree curve in his back. Here we have a 12 degree curve in his low back. You can see it pretty easily and constipation. Here we have extreme neck reversal and one half atlas wear. And this last one we have the grade one spondylolisthesis he never knew about and confirmation of that constipation. Do I have it? Good. Okay. 
come this way. Mm. Good. Okay. Mm. There we go. Yike. Yeah. Nice. Set on the table here. Oh, fuck. Yep. Okay, so he's complaining right now, guys, because he's still hurting. Okay, and he's sweating a little bit too. Yeah. Okay, and that's all because we just adjusted him in a vacuum right here. And that, what does that mean? That means I adjusted his neck. His body has to respond. His body will respond after we move him down the hall. So walking is paramount to making the whole body work together. So we're gonna walk to the door. Go and walk, please. Arms down, straight ahead. Just like an overall sense of like relief a little bit. I'm not, I can't pinpoint it yet. But. Fine, fine, fair enough. So let's go through the range of motion, see what you're going, what's going on. Stand over here. Okay, go ahead and bend over, touch as best you can. Okay. Okay, that was a seven or eight, I think. Yeah, it's still probably like a six. So. Gotcha, so just still pretty high. Yeah. Go back like this, please. That's a six, seven, yeah. Six, so I can seven. go like back a little bit. Yeah, you can, see, you can see yeah. his face a little bit less, right? Yeah. Okay, look at the floor, please, real quick. There was no pain there. Look at the ceiling, no pain there. Yeah. Now let's check the hip. It's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so definitely way, way less here. I was a seven before. What right, that? yeah, so I'd say like a three. Yeah, about a three, but when I go all the way down, then I feel it in the low. Like gotcha. It. And so what was that, a five or six? Or yeah. In the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have a seat right here real quick. Like this. I'm going to do this on camera real quick, guys. So his problem is that he's been suffering for a long time. How does this feel to sit, by the way, before we... Um, less painful, <laughs> like still painful, but like not as immediate. Not as immediate. I feel like when I drive home, it's still gonna suck. But yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Well, the, you know, the uh, cars matter, how you sit matters, yeah. which we've never got to actually talking about it. But I'm gonna work True. on you a little bit more here, okay. and we'll see if we can change your pain around a little bit more. Okay. 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 doing guys and working on the suboccipital muscles here and these are his nodding muscles and this puts pressure on his brain stem and that brain stem pressure throws his balance off still and so he compensates Fuck. and has bad language <laughs> because of his back pain <laughs> uh, good so oh. let's try this again and touch your toes Where you at? I'd say six or seven. Still six, okay. Yeah. And one more time back like this. Oh, yeah, still. Okay, so we're at the same spot. Yeah, but so the hip is like... Yeah, a lot better. So anyways, it all functions together. I thought that was getting a little better, but you know, it's not always a home run. There's probably more things to work on. This is his first adjustment. Hopefully get a couple more videos or at least one more video on this to see how he does. But so far, so good. Anything else you want to add? Okay, good. See you guys next time. So why don't you tell us, Joseph, what you just told me a few minutes ago. Where are you at with this process since the... In the last couple of days um, yeah I've just been focusing on the stuff you've been teaching me like um, the posture and dropping my shoulders and just more paying attention to my body and like relaxing you know yeah but and so we were talking about your parents and how they yeah. say they notice a difference and what are they what's yeah. the biggest thing we've noticed in the last couple of weeks here since you've been back uh, just like I don't have pain <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty lit <laughs> yeah and so uh, what I want you to tell me again the cool thing mm. about uh, this is that you were so distraught that oh, you yeah. said you had this self-defeatist kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I was so, super over it. About two weeks ago, I really saw no light. Besides, I knew that this was possible because, I, like, like I said, I'd come a year before. Mm -hmm. So I knew, but I was just like, you're my last chance. Yeah, well, I like people's last chance. Yeah. But again, in, in only four visits, guys, he's come around and uh, yeah. and you're a little more positive in life again, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, because mm -hmm. it gets really bad. Pain, yeah, you, you can't guys, do anything. You guys know out there and you can leave your comments about how where you are in life and how bad, how does pain change your quality of life? And so... He started to feel that a couple weeks ago, and you're not, what, you're 75 years old? How old are you, dude? Yeah, 70. Yeah, yeah. so uh, at his age, you know, it's normal to not feel great. No, but at 27, you're 28 20, years old, right? Yeah, 28. So he's a kid, so he shouldn't be feeling like this. And so, um, <clears throat> now tell us how much better do you feel? What percentage better do you feel since soup? Um, I'm at like a, a solid 85, 90 gotcha, right now. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm feeling good. Let's go through some of these symptoms I have on these from the really beginning. Right foot pain. Um, yeah, no, no. Low back pain. It's Low back is like the only one left. But I remember I came in and I remember I watched the original video. Mm -hmm. My neck was like a huge issue and I yeah. had zero neck. I know, it's crazy, Zero, right? zero neck. And I then told you, to my mom and said, I forgot about your hips. How about your hips? Hips are not, not that bad. Like, everything is like so getting much better. better. Getting yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's very Dizziness? Good. No. Uh, ringing your ears? No. 
And sleep still a problem for a little bit, huh? Yeah. Not too bad. Honestly, honestly, it's been better. Yeah. The only thing that him, the only thing that keeps him from getting a lot better is him. Anxiety. Yeah. He has some anxiety. Yeah. Uh, lots of uh, lots of issues in his daily life that are going on. But you know, we're gonna get control of that. Like anything, you know, all your twenty year olds. So we all have issues when we're in their twenties, you know. So last time we adjusted him in the chair, he seemed to do really well with this. Um, and like I said, the most important thing he did, which I. I high five him here on this thing is that he's starting to listen to the postural issues I gave him, the postural discussion, and he understood that every time he did it right, what happened? I felt, I felt better. Yeah, and every time he did it wrong, it, it felt worse. Exactly. Yeah. So he's listening to his body. That's a big home run when you can actually understand when you do something wrong and do something right, and the little stuff I teach you can change that. That's a huge thing because now you take the control back into your own body. Now you are the thing that's going to get you better. This head front this way. Yeah, he's a little tight. There we go, dude, like that. Come on, come, 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 come. Come this way. Come, 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 come. Mm. Beauty, there we go. Did you see that on the camera? Yes. Yeah. Quite the whippy whippy there. Mm. Good. Posture, good. See, I want you guys to see how he does the posture um, and how it's more relaxed. Uh, let's just see how you do it. I want to see the, the hips because I'm kind of curious. Go ahead and squat, please. Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> see, I always know when I do something right and he squats like that and he feels good his hips because his hips is probably the primary thing he needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's a happy camper. Those Awesome, man. Uh, I've always loved helping this guy. I wish we could get him in more. One day um, we'll get him in and finish his treatment. So good stuff. See you guys next time.